Well, what's up, America? This is Jim Bob coming to me to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Today we're going to commentary a little bit about the schools in America and uh, Jim Bob's plan to make the schools better and safer. Uh, before I uh, get into that conversation, I thought I'd just discuss with you a little bit of uh, 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 known facts and, uh, about Washington. The one thing, uh, and, uh, for sure about Washington, and it don't matter pretty much who it is up there, uh, if uh, they want money for a war, uh, they get it. Uh, and and uh, if uh, uh, that's one thing that they have no problem passing on is, uh, is uh, getting on a war, they get all the money they want when they do that. And so uh, having that in the mind, keeping that in your mind, uh, I'm going to propose to you that, uh, that Washington ought to get some money to fix up the school. The other thing that they have no problem doing is getting the money to build the prison. I'm getting old here, I forgot that second, secondary thing. They can build all the prisons they want to. We've got more people in, in prison in America than anywhere. And uh, they can get all the money they want to to have a war. So little Bush, when he wanted to go to war, he didn't even put the war on the budget. He just went on to war. So that's what they can do. Okay. Well, all right now. Uh, I'm just itching now. That's all I'm doing. I'm not picking my nose. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I'm saying they need the same psychology when it comes to the schools for the kids. See? Schools is a tearing down up there. I heard in uh, New York City the walls is falling down and all that kind of stuff. So first thing, uh, uh, this is Jim and Bob's plan to fix up all the schools. And uh, here's the issues. Uh, well, issue number one will be safety. We have got these uh, nut bags out there going around and shooting the kids in the school. Some of them are kids and like that. And uh, kind of that's a sad thing. So. First thing will be safety, and that's what, what we're going to do. We're going to rebuild every one of the schools in America uh, from every single state. They're all going to be exactly equal to the same. They're going to have the same uh, uh, everything in them. And, uh, and uh, starting out with safety, when the kids come into school in the morning and they go through the doorway, they'll be there, uh, be some uh, policemen there, and there'll be a thing just like at the airport. And they scan their uh, book bags and all that stuff and scan them and then they go on into the room. And, uh, but they can't take their book bags in the room. They can only take their books and pencils and papers in the room. And that's all they can have in the room in there. That's number one thing. So that gets safety in there to get them into the room. And then the second thing is once the bell rings and they're all in the room, they're going to lock down the school, just like there was a, some kind of a problem. Yeah, the school's locked down. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. And then, the third thing is, all the teachers is going to have to go through a psychological uh, evaluation every six months in uh, mental health and all that stuff. And uh, then uh, the second thing the school teachers are going to have to do is they're all going to have to get qualified with a, a sidearm. And uh, they will be uh, armed in the, in the classroom. Uh, with a, a sidearm and um, that way if some nutbag gets in there somehow or another they can defend the children and themselves. So that's what we're going to do there for the safety part of it. Alright, now we've got the kids all safety-fized. Everybody's all safe in the school like that. Now, the other thing is uh, we've got the bullying in the school and uh, we're going to take care of that situation too. Uh, but before we get to the bullying part, let me just uh, get back up a little bit. They got too many kind of subjects in school, and they're messing it all up. Uh, you know, a uh, long time ago, when school started, they had a uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and history, and, and that's what and they taught in the school. Now they got the sex education and heterosex and homosexuality. They got to teach you all that stuff. They don't need to teach you all that stuff. That stuff get taught at home. What we're gonna do? We're gonna change what to teach in school to these subjects here that I'm about to tell you about. They're going to teach reading, they're going to teach writing, and they're going to teach regular arithmetic. This new math is going to get thrown out. We don't need no new math. We can take the old math and get into the new math if you want to. I ain't never heard nobody use algebra nowhere anyways. 
Uh, and so they can put that TSAT stuff up there in the colleges if they want to. Uh, if somebody wants to learn it, they can learn it. But we're going to read and write, arithmetic, and history, and that's what they're going to teach in school. Um, along with, and I got some new courses that we're going to add in there that are important, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, one uh, a course is going to be survival, uh, like survival in the woods, where uh, if a kid got lost out in the woods, he'd know how to build a fire and uh, kill him a mouse and eat it, and uh, stuff like that. I'm going to teach that in school. Everybody's got to learn that. And the other thing, the last thing, is self-defense. We're going to teach that there in the school. They can be learned about karate or boxing or whatever. Now I'm talking about boys and the girls. So when uh, you, you know a person needs that, uh, well, they don't need it, but it, they might need it sometime in their life. And hopefully they never do. But if they ever do and they're qualified as like a karate or whatever, somebody tried to rob them and they were to beat the shit out of the robber, that'd be the goodest thing, the best thing. That keeps crime down, see? So that's what we're going to teach those. Those are mandatory carrot courses. And the football and the basketball and the baseball, all that stuff. If they want to have that, that's going to have to be uh, on the outside and the people in the community are going to have to pay for it. Um, we ain't going to have no more of that stuff. We're just going to have self-defense. And, uh, and it gets back to the bullying. So uh, if the buddies keeps the bullying, the boys or the girls or whatever, they'll know how to take care of that bullying situation. They won't have to write no more laws. It'll all get taken care of on its own. So you see, that's what we need to do in the schools. And uh, have a better curriculum and the better schools and better than the prisons and uh, all that stuff. And the kids will be learning what they need to learn. And, uh, and they can use the computers and all that kind of stuff they want to. That's all right. But uh, they got to learn the basic stuff. And uh, they get on out in the society in America and they'll make something by themselves. And they'll be able to take care of themselves if somebody tries to rob them or try them by to bully them. Something like that. And they just slap the shit right at them. And then go on down the road and they'll be done with it. No, they'll have to cry to mom and daddy. Oh, I got bullied on them. See? That kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and another thing is, if, if some fool wants to somehow get a, get on there in there with a gun, uh, then, then that can be taken care of uh, in a uh, 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 quick fashion, and it'll be all ended over with, and there'll be less lives lost. So, that's Jim Bob's plan to uh, uh, fix the schools up, get them running right, and uh, get teaching what we're supposed to be teaching, and... Uh, I guarantee you they'll learn sex education on their own. You know how to teach them that. So. All right, so that's my uh, uh, commentary for today. And uh, here I am in my newest secret location. I'll be moving soon to another one. I'm keeping on the move because the guys in the black suits and the sunglasses are little uh, white things poking out their ears and the SUVs and the helicopters are still after me. Uh, I've been trying to uh, charge me with uh, escaping. Uh, and my lawyer's talking to their lawyer about uh, uh, well, then I'm, what you can't escape if uh, you've been arrested and uh, ain't been arrested or charged and you get kidnapped and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try to get me some more free meals out of. We'll see what happens. That's it. Uh, Jim Bob's out.